Hey guys, Alfonso Gomez here, your realtor. Uh, I wanted to share with you guys today a story of one of my worst transactions I've ever done. And, uh, you know, it, it, I've had many bad ones and I've actually tried to figure out which one was the worst, but I think this one was pretty bad. So what happened is that back when there was a lot of foreclosures, in 2009, 2008, 2009, there was a ton of foreclosures. Uh, so as real estate professionals, you know, the deals were far and few in between. So you, you only got so many deals, um, at least I did. I was having a hard time finding transactions. Uh, I was doing a lot of short sales. And so somebody calls me and they want to do a short sale. And so we do the short sale, we start the process. First off, that is back in those days, and. Hopefully things will change when and if we get back into the short sale era. But it used to be a big pain and long process. It took forever. It could have been, you know, anywhere between uh, four to nine months to get a short sale approved, which is good for the homeowner because they can stay there all that time. Anyway, so we're doing a short sale. It took a long time. We were negotiating terms. Got finally found a buyer, got them approved. There was delay after delay, you know, nine months later. Um, a lot of the times the sellers would get upset. They would get upset at us, the agents, when in reality it was the lender who was holding everything up. And then think about it. The lenders wanted a buyer to start the process. And remember, four to six months to nine months. And they wanted the same buyer to end the process. Well, I think you put yourself in the shoes of a buyer. A lot of the times you're not going to want to wait that long. You'll go find something else. Whatever. Um, it was a long process. The lender was taking their time. The buyers were backing out. We'd have to start over. The seller was starting to get antsy. Started to think that maybe it was us when it wasn't us, the agents. I was working with a partner at that time. And... Lo and behold, we finally get the loan approved. A lot of problems with the buyer's loan. So now we had those issues. So the seller was upset. The lender was upset. The buyer was frustrated. Finally, the deal goes through or the, the money funds. The buyer uh, funds the transaction. So everybody's happy. Uh, typically, just FYI, uh, a deal doesn't close until the, the money funds and the next day, you record the title. All right, well, whatever. So, long process, must have been about a year. It was a pain trying to get a hold of the seller. It was a pain trying to get a hold of the buyer. It was a big pain trying to get a hold of the lender. It was a big pain to negotiate the short sale. It was a big pain all around. We finally fund the deal, and we're all celebrating. All we need to do now is record the title, which is the following day. So one day we fund, and we're happy, high-fiving everything. Then I get a call the same day we fund from the escrow company saying, hey, Alfonso, somebody forgot to get the grant deed notarized. Well, you need the grant deed notarized and signed by the seller. Remember what I said a second ago? The seller was hard to get a hold of. At that point, he was frustrated, he was mad, mainly because he was losing his house. And then, of course, the whole process. I thought, well, it shouldn't be an issue because I do think he did let me know he was happy. I forgot how I found out he was happy that it was funding. I'm not sure, maybe that was a lie. Well, of course, you guessed it. Everybody's happy. The money got dispersed from the title, well, it got received by the title company because it funded. The seller was nowhere to be found. We were calling him. We went to his house. We were knocking at his door. Nowhere to be found. Finally, he calls us back the next day and says, you know what? This took way too long. I'm not going to sign the grant deed. <laughs> he refused to sign the grant deed. And that's all we needed. 
one signature for this nightmare file that took almost a year to close and the guy just said no he didn't like that it took so long and he refuses to and it was I'm sure it was a lot more than that I don't think it was all us he must have been and I think he even got a job I think he even got a job so he probably just wanted to save the deal but it was so emotionally frustrating Anyway, <laughs> you live, you learn, right? It is what it is. Hopefully, uh, you know, I don't have to go through that again with short sales. I'm pretty sure I'll do more short sales down the road. Uh, I happen to be a short sale and foreclosure resource certified by National Association of Realtors. Uh, so I actually know how to help people through the process. But uh, that's the nightmare story. The deal never went through. The guy never sold his house. Good for him, he found a job in, in the process, saved his house, good for him. I'm happy for him, but that was not very nice. <laughs> Hope you guys have a good day, sorry about the long story. If you ever need any help with buying or selling a house, let me know, take care.